Hey everyone, Jeremy Senpai here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you like what you hear, feel free to hit like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. All right, on with the show. As always, keep calm and put your headphones on. <sighs> Smell that air. Yeah. It's definitely a lot different here compared to Kanto, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> I never thought a place like this would be so beautiful. Except maybe Mount Moon. But then again, we've already scaled that place all the way and back, am I right? It's hard to believe it's been a couple of years now since it all began. You know us on our journey together, <laughs> our battle against Blue, all of them, facing Team Rocket, competing for badges, defeating Team Rocket, becoming the champion, and of course, completing the Pokedex. It's hard to believe it's only been a couple of years since then. I know. And I really do owe all of this to you. You know I mean it. You were my first Pokemon, my first partner, my first friend. And well, I know a lot of people credit me with being the Pokemon champion. They credit me with completing the Pokedex. And honestly, that does feel pretty good. But... I would be nowhere without you. I'd be nowhere without you and Pikachu and Charizard and Venusaur and Blastoise, Cypher, Persian, Jolteon, Victory Bell, Kabutops, Hitmonlee, Lapras, Snorlax. I'd be nowhere without all of you, without all the friends that we've made. All the challenges we've gone through together. My victory is more yours, if anything else. No, I genuinely mean it. I really do. <laughs> yeah. But when the professor told us about his colleague, Professor Elm, and gave us the offer to gave us the offer to complete the Johto Pokedex too. I know I had to turn him down. My job was to complete the Hoenn... No, complete the Kanto Pokedex. No, I'm not really interested in going to Hoenn either. I did my job. And as cool as it would be, I mean, it really is cool seeing all the new Pokemon here in the Johto region. I just don't want to do it this time. I had my adventure, and now I just want to travel around. I mean, I even resigned as the champion, because I just didn't want to be, I just didn't want to be welded down anymore. The Pokemon world is so huge, there could be hundreds, even thousands more out there, and even though I don't want to catch them all, I do want to see them all. And I want you and everyone else by my side when we do it. Sound good? Yeah, I thought that you'd feel that way. Of course, Professor Elm wasn't really happy with that. He really wanted my uh, expertise on helping, on helping complete his own Pokedex. But from what I understand, he actually found some uh, help of his own. Yeah, Professor Oak told me all about it. Apparently, there's some kid who lives in his town, and just like with me, he offered him a Pokemon and Sema's way. I don't really know much about them, to be honest. But from what I hear, they did pretty well for themselves. They even managed to beat Team Rocket, or should I say what was left of them. Oh no, this wasn't Giovanni. Apparently, there was some faction of the Rocket Gang that decided to take over after he left. Or rather, disappeared, if I'm hearing the rumors right. 
But anyway, they basically took over after he left. And they decided to try and bring him back by reigniting everything that Team Rocket supposedly stood for. And I'm not gonna lie, just hearing that much tempted me to go to Johto. And ironically, just as we cross just as we cross over Mount Silver, we hear word from Professor Elm that Team Rocket is now officially disbanded, and this time for good. So, honestly, there wasn't much left for us to do but just enjoy ourselves. Paid a visit to the Professor, stopped by a few of the uh, towns around. <laughs> I even got to see the Poke Triathlon. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually tempted to try my luck next time. I just know that we'll do well together. But the real thing was this right here. Mount Silver. And let me tell you, getting past all those crazy strong Pokemon was definitely worth it. Like that giant rock type that caused an earthquake. Or that little scrappy one with the claws that could use Ice Beam on us. There were a whole bunch of those. And honestly, I don't know which ones I'm more afraid of. <laughs> anyway. But this was the main reason. I just wanted to see this whole new world. I wanted to leave Kanto for a while. And where better to start than here in Johto? And to think, so Mount Silver was here the entire time, and we never knew it. This is what separated Kanto and Johto from each other. It's so beautiful, don't you think? I just know that there's a crazy new world out there, just waiting for us to have a look at. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, when all this is over, we say our first real stop is that bell tower. From my here, it has a connection to some legendary Pokemon. Yeah, I thought that you would like that. And then, how about we stop by the Whirl Islands? I'm actually really curious about what's out there. I hear that there's a legendary Pokemon hiding out there. And I would love the chance to see it. You know, maybe give Articuno some competition, don't you think? Yeah, he's really been scraping for a challenge, and battling against Articuno and Moltres can really get tiring. I know, I know, and sparring with Charizard and Dragonite doesn't really do much for him either. So I know that looking for a challenge is definitely going to be a bit hard. Uh, one of the main problems with having so many Pokemon is that so many of them want to get out and see the world themselves. A lot of them are starved for battle. So we definitely have to keep our team pretty well rotated to keep everybody happy and healthy. I know I've said this before, but... You are my best friend. My success was only made possible because of you and everybody else that we've met along the way. I'm so happy and proud that I'm your partner. So, thank you. Thank you so, so very much. See? Doesn't that feel good? <sighs> Anyway, I mean, being the Pokemon champion was great for a while, but it was kind of holding me back, too. I belong on the road. I belong traveling around, meeting new, meeting new people, going to new places, seeing different Pokemon. That's what it's all about, right? No, I'm not going to try and catch them all. Though I... Though I don't think there will be any problems with us catching a few new friends here and there. I know, right? And everybody else was so willing to come with us. I mean, I can feel it in their Pokeballs. Venusaur, Charizard, 
Blastoise, Pikachu, Snorlax, all of them are so ready to just get out and have a look at this big old world with us. And even more so, they're definitely looking for a challenge. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of more powerful Pokemon and trainers out there. And I'm sure that they can't wait to cross paths with us. I'm even hearing rumors about some sort of champion league. Uh, and now I'm tempted to re-challenge Lance so I can get my title back just so I can enter it. But I guess we'll cross that road when we get to it. Lance really got a lot more powerful ever since he discovered some new dragon Pokemon. So he's definitely worthy of holding the title champion. For now, at least. Oh, and since I mentioned us needing a new challenge, it looks like the challenge just found us. So, what brings you here to Mount Silver? Yes, that's right. I'm the Pokemon trainer known as Red. And what brings you all the way up here? What's your name? Where are you from? You're from Lilru Town, right? Oh! You're Professor Elm's helper. Yeah, I've heard a lot about you. I can't help but feel that we were meant to meet here. So what do you say? Let's have a Pokemon battle. Right here, right now. What you say? To be continued.